finally getting a little bit closer to the game. So, uh, good day yesterday. It'll be interesting to see how today goes, but uh, I think these guys are ready to go. Chad, yeah, you guys up. are like, yeah, you know, I know you probably don't pay attention to the stuff, but Vegas has made you, I think, a 28 point something favorite, and you got an SEC opener next week. This is an FCS team. And do you worried all about guys looking ahead to Ole Miss? Or? No, no, not at all. Not, not, not with the season we came off of last year. You don't look ahead for anybody. Um, this is about how we play. It's not who we play, it's how we play. And, and that's, uh, as I shared with them today in our team meeting, I'm far more concerned about their preparation and how they continue to prepare each and every day, regardless who we play, than the magnitude of the game on Saturday. It's about preparation today, and, and that's been our focus. And, um, and no, I'm, I've, our guys have had great preparation to this point, and I, I anticipate nothing but that today. Hey, Coach, Luke Jones has been waiting to hear about his eligibility. Have you heard anything new on that? I, I haven't heard anything new on that right now. Um, right now he's ineligible. Update on C.J. O'Grady and trading. You anticipate them being at practice today, and then if what, what's the sort of status to Saturday? Yeah, C.J. is uh, was out of actually practice yesterday in green, so he he'll be back green again today. He'll be ready to go for Saturday. Uh, Trey is not in today. Uh, won't, won't practice today. We hope. We keep being told it's it's just it's coming. Uh, so we anticipate him being back out tomorrow. So could he but he'll be around today. Could he play if he's mm -hmm. yeah. tomorrow? Oh yeah. Tomorrow and Friday. So, so what was practice like yesterday? Um, a good grind that allowed you to go in shorts today? Well, it's been a long camp. You know, it's been a long camp, and uh, these guys are uh, uh, they're ready to go. And we've had, a, we've had plenty of live days and full padded days. And so, uh, again, this is just an opportunity for these guys to, to uh, you know, when you go out and you can go out in some shells, which the only thing that's different is you just don't have knee pads on right now. I mean, they, got, they got their thigh pads on. But uh, you know, it just it's a mental it's a mental thing too. If Trey's able to go tomorrow, how much do you anticipate him actually being able to play? Well, I think Trey will play um, if he's able to go tomorrow and go through what we call our, our focus fast Friday. Um, yeah, he'll. I don't know the exact number of reps he'll get, but I anticipate him being out there. Eric Gregory was in green yesterday. Mm -hmm. We've seen him progressing. I have uh, really pleased with Eric right now. Um, where he is, it's it's along the same. I think he's he's well on ahead of schedule. So uh, would would don't know if we'll see him or not Saturday. But um, I mean he's he's definitely going to be in the mix before it's over. Do you feel like the t offensive identity will show itself in that first game? I, I don't know. Uh, I think more than anything, I I, I just want to see us play fast, play physical, and play to our standard. And um, I think there's a lot of things we've been working on. Um, we got to be able to run the football. We know that, um, but we got to also be able to 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 win first and second down. That, that's my big emphasis to these guys. Has Ben had a good week so far since the announcement? Yeah, you know, he had a good day on Sunday, as they all do, uh, flying around. And yesterday was a good day. Um, again, I think everybody at this point is just all across the country. People are focused in, ready to go. They're ready to – they're they're tired of hitting on each other. Uh, the redundancy of, of, of camp is wearing off. And so they're just ready for a game. You expect Hudson Henry to get time, or what, what's your take with him? Well, we 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 got him a part of the plan, and um, he's coming along just fine. We're excited about Hudson, um, so we'll see. You know, a lot is going to depend on, you know, where CJ is, how many reps CJ will get, and uh, but we anticipate him being being and getting some reps in this Saturday. You got your five guys on the offensive line mm -hmm. healthy this week. How do you feel they're coming together? Well, I'm I'm excited about these guys. Uh, I think, as I've mentioned before, with Myron giving us an opportunity moving inside. Um, and Colton being healthy, we've got some we got some interesting dynamics there that I'm excited about. We're athletic, uh, which is a good thing. We got some depth, which is another great thing. And uh, Ricky Stromberg is going to have an opportunity to play Saturday, so I, again, I'm I'm excited to watch him as well. Is there anything new you guys are incorporating into like the pregame routine or anything new like that? No, not really. No, we're all. I mean, it's 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 game day. It's uh, we got a system that we do and how we do it. And, but that's that's about it. Anything special for the first pregame meal? <laughs> Man, that that's that's out of my hands right there. I'm sure there's gonna be some type of chicken involved, grilled chicken and pasta. Uh, but no, it's pretty customary. I'll, I'll uh, I just hope that they got grits at breakfast. Traylon <laughs> still your number one uh, return guy. He is. Yes. This. We were talking to Ty Clary yesterday. He about he's like throwing up for every game going back to, to Pee Wee. Were you aware of that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That? It, it, stuff like that, you're, it's hard not to be aware of, but. Uh, <laughs>
just asking him to go off and get away from everybody else when he does it, you know. He does it before practice, too. It's just part of it. What kind of feedback have you gotten from what Turner Gill has done for this program? Incredible. Um, you know, Turner's such a – one, he's a fantastic man uh, and what he stands for and his impact on, on – kids all over the everywhere he's coached has been tremendous um, but for his ability to to step back from football and to really dive into these players lives off the football field and and his plan and what we have for him we got uh, he's got a deal every Thursday with our team it's with two minutes with Turner and and he did different different life skills that we talk about constantly so I'm, I'm excited I think that's the next step in our program and the growth there's a lot of stress playing at this level with you know being an athlete and a student and other stuff, the attention. Um, how much do you think guys need somebody like Turner to sort of be a, you know, a confidant or signing board or whatever, you know, for him? Well, we always talk about, you know, developing you more than just a football player. And if all we did was make them better football players, then, then we failed a lot of people. And this is that, that avenue. This is that uh, part of our program that allows our, our young men to, 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 to tap into those resources. Um, and so it is, it, it's, it's tough to be a student athlete, a football player, volleyball player, soccer, it's, it's tough, basketball, you name it. At, at, at a division one level uh, in the SEC, on top of that, it's, it's hard. The demands and the time demands that, that we ask our student athletes to do, uh, it's phenomenal. And so they've got to have a release. They've got to have an opportunity to go to somebody else's office that's not going to talk football or not going to talk sports to them and, and just share life lessons with them. And so Turner allows that. I continue, I hope to continue to grow Turner's um, department. That's, that's my next step is continue to grow that area uh, because I think we've got something really special working right there. Do you guys have any kind of policies for social media? Like, do you encourage the guys to stay off it during the season? Our, our guys will be on social media. I know our leadership committee will, will put together the uh, the plans for us social media wise that it'll it'll go dead at some point and it comes back live each week. So, with, with, with Myron Cunningham, with just a question of where he was probably going to play, not if he was going to play. Well, after watching him through spring, we felt that we felt it was a matter of time, um, and it was just where did he fit and and help us out the best. And so we've kind of felt that all the way. Um, the, showing up into fall camp was no different. And uh, he had a great camp, and he's, he's provided great depth and value for us. I guess Dalton Wagner's going to be the youngest starter on the offensive line. What have you seen from him? Well, Dalton's again, you know, has continued to grow, uh, mature, develop. Um, has really taken his coaching extremely well. Is learning on the on the run. Um, so I again, I think that's Dalton's going to be a guy that's uh, going to help us out. I'm going to have to. A couple more. Have you ever had a true freshman start at punt return, and what made you want to put Traylon back? There? You know, true freshman at punt return. I you know I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at that, but um, uh, I don't recall I have. But I do know that uh, that's a trust position. And I mean, this young man's got an opportunity to be really special. Um, and I think that he's, he's earned that. And we got the utmost trust in Traylon. I think he's earned that during camp. Um, he's a fantastic individual. And y'all uh, you know, see him as a football player. We see him as, as both. And he's, he's a better person than he is a football player. And I can tell you that's a, a credit to his family and credit to, to his coach and program. So I have no problem putting him back there. As long as he can catch it. I guess I was last week. You took like I took some ice cream trucks or some of the band. Did you mm -hmm. do that last year? Is that something you've done previously? And I guess what uh, caused you to do that? Well, I mean, man, you know, they were in camp too. They were in three days actually, and they were working out on the asphalt. So uh, I mean, we're out here on turf and grass. They're on asphalt, and so um, it was just something that, that we we just want to show our appreciation for their hard work and their dedication to our program and to this university. And what a better way to do that is share them with ice cream. So I, I brought the ice cream truck up and, uh, and let him, uh, let him, let them all visit with us. And um, we took some pictures and eat ice cream together. So that, that was a neat deal. The ice cream truck blew our cover. He showed up looking for us and we said, don't turn the corner until we get there. But it was okay. It was great. It was so fun. It was good. It didn't did not ruin the flavor of the ice cream. But it was great. We're just again we're proud of, of where we're at and excited about this year. Excited about you know what's next and uh, this program. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. All right, thank y'all.